potty time. Mm -hmm. And if you need a refreshing drink to serve at your next patio or backyard party this summer, we've got two cocktails for you. Here to get us started, Ford's Gin Brand Advocate, Nandini Kound. Thank Hi. you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Oh. I'm Oh, yes, go ahead. go ahead. No. We're just excited. I we? know. We're so excited. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> She's not a gin fan. We're going to nope, see what nope, we can do. No, nope. yes. <laughs> yes. Regular viewers of Daytime Chicago know that. So, But you're going to try to make it so that I can. I'm going to try to make it so you kind of like it. Okay. We'll All see. Right. What's the first cocktail you're making for us? So the first thing we're doing is we're making a cocktail from our record that we have at Music to Drink Martinis to. Ooh. And it is a martini created by a uh, Ago Peron from Connaught Bar in okay. London. Oh, All right. okay. We have no idea where that is, where but it that sounds is. fancy. It's really fancy. And so instead of vermouth, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Rosolio, which okay. is an Italian liquor made of bergamot and rose petal. Oh, so this I is where I'm going to try to win her over. I have never heard of this. Rosolio. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody so, keeps telling me it's the juniper that's turning me off with these uh, with this gin. Yeah. Well, this gin is actually really well balanced when it comes to the botanicals. So mm -hmm. there's a jasmine mm -hmm. element. So there's florality, mm -hmm. which okay. I think you might also like. Like. <laughs> Do you I like mean, the floral? You're you're a flower, you know. You yeah. Should like the jasmine and the. I'm adding gin. some fino sherry as well. Whoa! You're putting all kinds all of interesting kinds things of in stuff. here. Yes. I mean, I it think, is a challenge. Yes. It's going to be a game to see if you actually okay. like a martini. Do after. you find that a lot of people actually like gin? Oh, um, gin is so popular. Gin is really yes. popular. It's so like Ford's, mm -hmm. for example, is designed to be a cocktail gin, so mm -hmm. they reverse engineered it. Oh, how, yeah. Okay. What does so, that mean? So, what that means is basically, uh, as the the gin was getting developed, mm -hmm. um, basically we tasted it, tested it out in every single cocktail we could come up with. Oh. They would send bottles or iterations to different bartenders around the country and have them try it out and say, "What can we improve? Yeah. What do you and like? How do we make it work with a multitude of cocktails? Beautiful. So it's a multi-dimensional gin. And okay. This is a uh, stirred, not shaken. This is stirred and not shaken. But, but I don't think martinis are ever shaken, are they? Or they're not supposed to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't think so. All right. Um, would you like to try stirring? What you want to do is you want to watch this frost go all the way down to the bottom, then you know you're done. Oh, that's when oh. it's done. Okay. Because yeah. 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 you so want you... your martini to be very cold. Okay, oh. yes. Yeah. That's key. Does it make it taste better? It sure does. <laughs> right. It does. It does. Oh, okay. yes, absolutely. So. Now, do you prefer stirring over shaking, personally? I mean, For martinis, yes. Okay. And also, in general, yes. Okay. Because Starting is cooler than shaking. No, okay. And okay. you have a special. Makes you feel like very Bond, very James Bond. <laughs> very James Bond. But this takes a while. Yeah, maybe how long is it going to take? We only have I mean, <laughs> let's get started, y'all. <laughs> get the party started. Let's get this party started. So Are you I'm, able to make this in big batches? Yes. Yeah. So what's great about that is you can measure it out. There's measurements on the back of the bottle. Okay. So you can put in pregame your cocktail party and just pour it straight into a glass if you do it ahead of time. Okay. And you prefer olive over a twist? I like both. So okay. I'm going to give you guys both. Okay. Beautiful. Ooh, yes. All right. Mm, got the oils from the, uh, from yeah. the limon. The limon. The limon. Yeah. Oils from the limon. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to do uh, a Castle de Toronto olive, which is one of my favorites. It's from Spain. Mm -hmm. And it's got this like kind of really lovely meatiness to it that's like... Oh, now we just pour. No. Tanya's getting prepared. Poor Tanya. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to do to her. But the idea is to have this delicious Ford's gin martini while listening to this record. Yes. So, what kind of music is on this record? So, like this record is Handsome Boy Modeling School, which is DJ Prince Paul and Dan the Automator. Oh, um, that's way too cool for us. It's I have like no idea. Cool. <laughs> so, okay. Prince Paul. Uh, he basically produced De La Soul's record. Oh, Ooh, okay. Okay, now we know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Dan the Automator is on Gorillaz. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, she's Cheers. Scared. I <laughs> she's like scared. it. It's delicious. Not too juniper I have to say. A lot of floral notes. Mm hmm. Okay. Nandini, we've only got like a minute left. Do you think you can do this next one I'm quick? Gonna, I'm going to rock it out. Okay, I'm going to rock it out with this one. Okay, yeah. okay. This one I'm going to like, right? This one you're like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we I'm make this in you. the glass? We're gonna make we're gonna build it right in the glass. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. What is this one called? Um, so this one is called a gin and sonic. Ooh. Because we're mixing okay. grapefruit soda and tonic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. And a, a gin and juice, basically. A gin and juice. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 I like how you offer yeah. it. Okay. okay. So we're gonna get uh we're gonna get some snoop in here with some gin and juice. Yes. Let's get some one snoop of your in favorite here. People. I think that'll be great. <laughs> yeah. And then we're gonna start off with We're gonna start off with one and a half ounces of Fords. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you may glass. only be able to make one. Do, are, I'm going to make flavored gin. Sure? Okay. Yeah. 
Does Floyd make flavored gin? We have a slow gin mm -hmm. that's made from slowberry mm -hmm. that's absolutely delicious. We're gonna go like this. We're just gonna go. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. A little twin pour. Uh -huh. Great. Wow. We did do it. Looks pretty color. Yeah. I was doubtful for no reason. You know, we can do it. I was like, this is a quick drink. Quick mm -hmm. pick up. Beautiful. And then let me just garnish it. So I am garnishing it with some fennel fronds. Okay. Oh. Fennel, you can, it's a plant that's really lovely because you can use every part of it. Mm -hmm. And you'll get that lovely scent off of it. Mm -hmm. And then I have some little I lightning bolts you, My for goodness, you. I love Beautiful. how you put the color, uh, the, the um, garnishes. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome. and we're gonna try this real quick. So. And let me get your flowers on there. All right. Oh, she's putting flowers oh, oh, on there. Oh yeah, flowers. we're gonna put some nasturtium right. petals on there, and then wow, I'm excited for y'all really to try it. super fancy. Okay, well, there's now. all Things the are pretty. information for Ford's Gin, Ford'sGin.com. Check them out on the Instagram too. And yeah, and you gotta get the music too. Yeah, oh, so you can get the real feel. And Thank you so much. If you so order much. off of Reserve Bar in the next coming days, a bottle of Ford's Gin will send you a record. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Great. Love it. Cheers. Ooh.